Home insulation from British Gas. Sponsors of Property on Fall. A three-bedroomed, newly built house on the outskirts of Leeds. A young couple looking forward to starting a family together. It was all working out just as planned until they heard the word triplets. We didn't obviously expect to have triplets, but we tried to embrace that. The medical staff were very honest with me that the chances of all the girls being well were, were fairly low. But we got there and we've been extremely fortunate. We're blessed really to have the family that we do. Suddenly, with the arrival of three girls, there was a real danger of style and tidiness going out the window. Before we had the girls, I was very conscious about keeping everything very clean and very tidy and everything had to have a specific place, whereas now absolutely the opposite is true. I found it initially quite hard to let go. Um, however, I have, I have managed to move on from my obsessive cleaning. <laughs> We've just had to be a lot more relaxed, you know, if, if something happens on a carpet then it, it happens and you can't stress out about it. It's always a choice whether you sacrifice style um, when you have children. There has to be a compromise somewhere between style and practicality. If I had a choice, I think it would be more stylish and less practical, but I am happy with the balance, yeah. With the triplets came a lot of kindly meant attention which meant home took on a new role. Having triplets is wonderful, but you get a lot of attention and attraction, and this, this place is a safety net behind that, where we can just be a family and there's nobody watching, we can just be ourselves. From the moment we walked through the front gate, we knew this was the house for us. It seemed to tick every single box that we had. We wanted a fairly decent-sized living area. Upstairs to have two good double bedrooms. The outside space was also very important. The garden is exactly what we wanted for a family house. It was perfect. It just felt like the gateway to a new life. Before kids came along, the home was, it was a good base and, you know, it was a happy home, but we'd be away every weekend pretty much doing, doing something. We loved it. We still enjoyed spending time here, but it wasn't quite as central to who we were as a couple as it is now as to who we are as a family. Having children always changes the home, but when you have triplets, you really have to think about space. Since we've had children, the house has had to change enormously. Layout has had to change. Uh, the usage of rooms and, and um, space has had to change. We decided to do an extension just primarily to build a playroom and a utility because we were, we were cluttered in the kitchen as well and we needed more storage. So that's enabled us to keep some of the house just to ourselves and some of the house for sort of destroying with them. <laughs> I'm not sure we have solved the problem of storage to be honest. There's still loads of stuff out most of the time. We have tried to incorporate hidden storage within the home and that's something that we are really exploring at the moment. Furniture that was single purpose before, we have tried to make it double purpose. This is our living room and this is more or less a child free room. The girls do have a dedicated playroom. So it has become a grown up sanctuary and it's a room I particularly like because it doesn't really get that messy. So I come in here and I can feel quite calm. The future, we're not, we're not quite sure what we're going to do. <laughs> we need to sort of play it by ear and, and see how it, how it goes. We might have to move out, so I don't know. I think bringing up a family is very much a journey where you have to take it as it comes. Potentially we may have to move from this house. It's not something I think that we, we want to do. We have so many fond memories here and I think leaving the place where we brought the girls home from hospital, I think, would be really sad. <laughs>